Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental Health with me, your host, Khadija. I'm really sad to um, talk about this um, state of affairs that some of us find ourselves in, living in um, a community with people that look like us that should love us but when you've been taught how to hate yourself it's real difficult to love anybody else or you might act like it you might go through the motions you might mimic what you've seen love look like on TV or on the radio or in the music but when you truly love yourself you really can't mistreat nobody else it's just that simple when you truly love yourself, you know, because you want for somebody else, but you want for yourself. You realize we're all connected, and you realize as goes one, so we'll go the other in just a matter of time. But that's if you were an evolved species, right? Uh, a couple years ago, um, a person that I know had an uncle who was on a bus stop waiting on a bus and a pack of kids traveling on the city um, praying off people in the city a bunch of kids the oldest one being maybe 14 attacked the man on the bus stop and beat him with two by fours until he died he tried to run away start banging on people neighbor's door people didn't want to let him in and there was a bunch of kids chasing him not a bunch of adults a bunch of children so i'm going to show you telling you how out of control we're, we're we're getting we've gotten it's not a we're getting it's we've gotten and we're s just circling the drain um, we're half dead we're standing in our own graves our mental capacities have deteriorated to a point where common sense ain't common at all and behaviors that you would have relegated to just plain people in a, um, mental, a mental institution, you are seeing these behaviors being perpetrated right out in the open in front of you, but yet you got people saying that don't use the word mental illness and that people are not mental. So I beg the difference. I beg to differ that crazy people started this country. There is a collective narcissism, racism, mental illness that permeates the whole breadth of this country, this nation. And anywhere pretty much that the uh, dominant society is. He has a collective narcissism in his, in his nature that allows, that allows him to think that he's better than anybody else better than anybody that is non-white. I should put it that way. Now, I don't want to go all over the place with this conversation because I want to keep it right at home. And when I talked about these out-of-control kids that actually beat an adult to his death for waiting on the bus, it reminds me of a, a story my now-deceased sister told me about men a man pulling up to the side of the road asking her did she want to ride her saying no so he said well i'll make you dance bitch so he pulled out the gun and he started shooting at her legs and feet at at the bus stop it's amazing to me because y'all go on record a lot of y'all go on record saying how emotional women are men 
are so emotional, in my opinion, that they have become women to a degree because you've only you're the only if if women represent all this emotion, then each time I see a man in a difficult situation or a situation where somebody has to get hurt or somebody get it's because emotionally you haven't been able to verbalize the conversation. You haven't been able to articulate the situation. So you result to killing the person. If that ain't emotional, I don't know what it is. That's really a feminine behavior then, if that's the case. If we're going to put a gender on these behaviors, then I would think that men are way more emotional than women. And you may agree with me when I give you this story. There was a young lady sitting at the bus stop. Guy pulled up, asked her for her phone number, asked her what her name was, and hey, could he get, no, first he asked her, could he give her a ride? She didn't want a ride. He asked her for her name. She was like, well, you know, I, I really don't want to talk, right, about, you know, I'm on my way to work, and the guy got upset, and he shot out the bus shelter. Because she was hitting the leg. Fortunately, that's it. There was another individual also in the bus shelter. And according to my sources, this woman was shot because she didn't want to give this man her name. She didn't want to be bothered with him. He doesn't know how to handle the word no, just like a narcissist, just like a baby. Like I said, this country is just ripe with him. Black, white, doesn't really matter. The, 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 the mantra that runs this country is narcissism. Narcissism is madness. It's mental illness. It's, it's, it's a characterological disorder. So if you don't want to say it's a mental disorder, just say it's a character. It's another way of saying these people are assholes. Okay? So the, the most supremest asshole that had been allowed to get away with toxic acidic behavior from day one. If you in a situation where a woman don't want to talk to you or somebody don't want to give you their name and you so you're so damn weak that you have to shoot her or call her names, you need help. You're that's not a man. That's not a man whatsoever. It doesn't even represent anything masculine. Okay? Nothing masculine. Okay, so the fact that I'm trying to make here as you have a lot of women out here that are in childbearing ages and now, and and I'm you know and really want the companionship of men, okay. If a brother is that stupid, and a lot of them seem to be at this point, I don't know what to I don't know what to make of them, other than they're so supremely damaged through being beat down cultural year after year after year after year, century after century, that now their behavior is so out of control, you can't even call it. You have men that worry about women's hair and makeup, but how can you be shocked about that when James Brown had, you know, he made the song for himself and his, and his other comrades, how are we going to get respect when we haven't cut our processes yet? So you had men running around here with cunks, wanting to be white men, Wanting to have straight hair, but yet still they talk about women um, with weave, and they're so preoccupied with women's hair and makeup. Black men um, really need help. They really need help. They need some serious guidance, and I would advise any young lady that wants to have a relationship with a man. I would suggest that you make sure that you are spending most of your time, first of all, burying and working out all of your demons and what has happened to you and what um, are you capable of before you even try to engage in a relationship because most of these people are wounded and they have holes in their souls as big as Texas. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. 
And for the young lady who got shot on the bus stop, because she wouldn't uh, engage in a conversation with a mama man. I, I wish you well. I'm glad to hear that your uh, injuries weren't life threatening and that you will, you should survive. However, psychologically, it's put a scar, it's, it's put some toxicity into your um, nature, and it's also sh uh, traumatized your psyche. So I hope you get the help that you need. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm not going to stay on here long with this one right here, but I just wanted to say, you know, it's pretty sad. and We really have to do better. We really have to do better. Collectively, as a nation, specifically, as black people. All right, y'all. I'll see you next time. I'll be back with another video right here in the mental house. Bye-bye.